Hi, I am Dr. Jyotsna Deepak Patel, practicing obstetrician and gynecologist at Krupa Hospital, Andheri West, Varsova, Umang Hospital, Andheri East, MIDC. Today, I would like to give you information on breast lump. Now, why I have selected breast lump? Because it's a vast topic. All right, it affects all age groups. So I would be touching on primarily breast lump, which is non-cancerous. Now, when I say that, first I want you to understand what is the anatomy of breast. You must know that breast is made up of three tissues. One is a fibrous tissue, glandular tissue and fatty tissue. What is the primary function of breast? To breastfeed. All right. Now we, I'll tell you what are the common problems uh, the patient comes with. Most of the time, let me tell you, when a young girl comes into my clinic and says that I feel that I have a lump in my breast and I examine it and I find that there is no lump. All right. Now, why is that so? That is because when you examine your breast, remember that you need to examine your breast with the palm of your hand and not with your fingers. As I explained to you in anatomy, if you're picking up your breast and trying to examine it this way, you will find that the breast is full of lumps. That is not lump, that is the glandular tissue that you're holding. So you need to examine your breast with the palm. So when you press your breast with the palm and you feel there is some elevation that you can feel on your palm, then that, that is probably a lump. Having said that, even if you have any doubt, you must contact gynecologist. Now the common lumps that we see is uh, fibroadenoma you will hear, fibroadenosis, uh, something like traumatic fat necrosis and breast abscess. Now all these are usually non-cancerous. When we say fibroadenoma, it is also called breast mouse. Why? Because when you try to hold that lump, it keeps moving from your hand. All right, you say, Dr. Yaha tha. Nee, nee, shayad yaha tha. So this is called fibroadenoma. Now, uh, how do we treat fibroadenoma? First diagnosis is mostly clinical. If there is a family history of breast cancer, then we don't ignore fibroadenoma. Also in young girls, we get a mammography done. Now fibroadenoma usually is treated by giving uh, vitamin E, uh, some multivitamins, primrose oil, and we follow it up. If it's a small fibroadenoma, say two centimeters, three centimeters, and it's not increasing in size, the patient is comfortable. We just ask the patient to follow up every six monthly or yearly to keep a watch on that. The only reason for it to be removed is cosmetic most of the time. And the cause of fibroadenoma is again hormonal. It's a mixture of fibrous tissue and glandular tissue. Fibroadenosis is similarly like fibroadenoma. Again, a benign condition, non-cancerous. How does it present? It is like there is some firmness in some part of the breast. Okay, it's not a very clear cut uh, swelling, but you can feel that some part of the breast is soft, the other part is little form. Okay, treatment remains more or less the same. Uh, it's a conservative management. We give vitamin E, we give uh, multivitamins, primrose oil, and again, six monthly breast checkup. Again, if there is a family history, always we get a mammography done. The third category is breast abscess. Now breast abscess means whenever there is a collection of pus in the breast. This is most commonly seen in lactating women. Uh, breast abscess presents with painful swelling. Sometimes patient comes with fever and there is a lot of redness on the breast that we see. Most of the time we try uh, to uh, give antibiotics and control the spread of the pus. But if there is a lot of pus inside, then after antibiotic course, maybe for one or two days course, we need to drain the abscess under anesthesia. As I said, that is most commonly seen in lactating women. And sometimes it is also, uh, there could be an underlying malignancy, particularly if the woman is not lactating and she is more than 45, 40, 45 age group. And there is a family history again. So as I said, in every discussion of mine, you must have seen, I have said family history. So it's very important in breast that you must know whether in your family anybody had breast cancer because breast cancer is a cancer which is proven to have some genetic predisposition. So my take home message would be breast lump, don't panic, but do not ignore it as well. Please visit a gynecologist. Thank you.